Hello gamers, it's Gopal here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to improve your video quality in Sony Vegas Pro. So personally I've been struggling with getting the best quality out of my videos for a while. It wasn't up until this legend has commented on my video with a tip on how to resolve it. Shout out to you Hurricane Turtle, guys go check him out, he makes some really good content and I'm just a big fan of his logo, I absolutely love it. You can find a link to his profile in the description of this video. Anyways, let's get down to the business. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure your project settings are correct. Go to File, Properties and ensure that all of your settings are matching these. 2560 by 1440, field order set to None, pixel aspect ratio set as 1 and your frame rate is set to 59.940 double NTSC. Now switch the 3D mode off and everything else is pretty much default. Uh, pixel format needs to be 8-bit and just make sure to change full resolution rendering quality to best. Make sure to set the resample mode to disable resample and tick two of these boxes. Adjust source media to better match project or render settings and start all new projects with these settings. Give it a name that you like and hit the save button. I'm just going to add a short clip to this project so I can render it and next I'll show you what to set your render settings to. Now go to File, Render As and from the format list select Magix AVC slash AAAC MP4 and select one of the Internet HD templates to edit. Click on Customize Template button and this box should come up. Yet again, just make sure your settings match what you see on the screen. I'll just read them out and highlight the bits that need to be changed. So starting at the top, change the frame size to custom frame size and set it to 2560 by 1440. Change profile to high, frame rate to 59.94. Field order to none, pixel aspect ratio to 1. And set the constant bit rate to 135 million. Now don't worry, if your constant bitrate option is greyed out and you can't select it, just go back to the top and untick and tick the include video box and that should hopefully fix your problem. Right, moving forward, set the encode mode to NV encoder, preset to high quality and RC mode to CBR. That's pretty much it. I like to leave the audio settings as default. There's nothing in the system we need to change and for project just make sure video rendering quality is set to best and go ahead and give your template a name and save it. So I have already rendered the same video in two different render options. One is in 1080p and the other one is in 1440 and the difference is unbelievable. So this video here that's set to 1440 and have a look at this you see that that is just disgusting and just to confirm that's in 1080p uh, 60 frames per second the difference in that quality is just insane if you upload a video for a test and you can't see 1440 straight away it's still set to 1080p and you're wondering what the hell um, just give it a couple of minutes. It's you should just convert in the video after a couple of minutes, so that option should be there for you. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, check out my other content, drop a like, comment, and subscribe.